I really wanted to have parents. I wanted to feel a sense of like hope. I wanted to have like that love and I was longing for it. I just wanted to look up to someone. Meet Jermaine Lowen, a young boy that lived in a children's home in Maypen, Jamaica, before he captured the heart of a family living more than 4,000 kilometers away in the Interlake region of Manitoba. There was something about Jermaine that des desperately screamed that he needed a family. Things were very rough. It was, it's very much a survival of the fittest kind of a mentality is really what it is. I remember one time seeing him get smacked across the legs with an iron um, piece. He didn't fight, he didn't have that kinda, he just looked at them like, why would you do that to me? I think in that moment, we knew this boy had to be ours. Can you say hi to Canada? Say hi, Canada. Hi, Canada. <laughs> Stan and Tara adored Jermaine so much they looked into adopting the young boy. It was a long, arduous task that had many ups and downs, but 21 long months after first seeing Jermaine and acquiring about adoption, he was finally a Lowen. Hi, Jermaine. I found it, like, in my mind, I found it really easy. It was like this long waiting and this whole process. I and then finally it's like, man, I get to, I get out of here. I, I've often thought actually of the moment, that moment and the courage that, that it took for him to say, yep, I'm ready for my new life. I'm, I'm ready to, to face all these changes. Jeremy's mommy and daddy will be taking him to Canada to live with them in Canada. When you go from palm trees to wheat fields at the age of five, things are going to be tough, but Jermaine's first Christmas in Canada would change everything. First time I got a skates, I think I cried. I didn't, I didn't know what, what these things were, and I was like, that's not even an exciting Christmas gift. Like, come on, man, like, <laughs> like I just did not, I did not appreciate that. But then I realized, okay, this is pretty cool, and I, and I got these skates and I strapped them on and I, I'd walk around the house and I'm like thinking, man, I'm going to be a good hockey player someday. I think after two years we put him in a can skate program here in Arbridge, so he kind of learned. Most of the kids in can skate are three and four and five year olds, so he was kind of the bigger one in the group. It would have been super easy for me to just take him off and say, I'm done, I'm a, I'm a runner, I'm Usain Bolt, I don't, I don't, put on skates, you know? And so, and then I, I kept going, I kept working at it. He picked things up really fast, and Jermaine has an awesome character of being extremely teachable. Jermaine's meteoric rise in the hockey world is remarkable. He got his first pair of skates at age six, played his first organized game four years later, and in a truly amazing feat, he made the Kamloops Blazers six years after playing that first game. I'm excited about him. You know, he, he's got, uh, so he always got a smile on his face. He's, he's really uh, willing to learn. His work ethic was phenomenal. From, from day one, he just had a passion for the game. He wanted to, to play hard every day, he did it the right way. Every time we seen him play, he just got better and better and better. Before I step on the ice, I always think about how the kids are like in Jamaica, how if they got this opportunity, they would hold on to it, they wouldn't quit. It is a highly unlikely story that a boy born in Jamaica, raised just outside of Selkirk, has the chance to live out every Canadian's dream, while possibly joining Graham Townsend as the only Jamaican-born players ever to play in the National Hockey League. I think about that a lot. It's like, oh man, I want to be the second guy. I, want, I just really want to make that happen. You would love to play professional hockey. But whether or not that happens, he really wants to help the people of Jamaica. 
he wants to make a difference. And uh, I'm pretty sure he will. I'm always more proud of Jermaine as the person than as the hockey player, like by a very long shot.